Hello Pickle everyone here and today is another episode on the radioactive ocean asteroid here in Oxygen Not Included. Today is episode 18. As always I have a playlist in the top right corner and I hope you enjoy. Alright and I have booted up the save for today. And my goal is better rocketry. The game plan for today, better rocketry. I want to do better rocketry. I've been saying it for too long. I want to finish the Radbolt propulsion research. And then we're going to build like this spaceport over here. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it over here is because it would be, it'd create too much heat over here. So, yeah. I might do rocket silo. Um, I might not. Not too sure. Hmm. What I think, like for a, uh, for another goal that I could do, excavating, like I usually do. But like, this should take up most of the episode. And if it doesn't, then I don't know what to do after that. But I'll see you in five cycles. Alright, and we are back once again with cycle 331, and I've made good progress doing the stuff and things. I have a pipe running from the nuclear waste off-put pipe all the way over to what's eventually going to be our Radbolt, um, per uh, Radbolt assembly thing. Um, there's a small bit of petroleum there, small bit of petroleum there, small bit of petroleum there. This one is going to, um, keep this from overpressurizing, so this th theoretically turns into an infinite storage. Um, down here, these two are so that way the, the, uh, the thing doesn't overheat. Uh, and there are temperature shift plates, so it draws heat from there. Um, I built the rocket platform with two, but it's easily expandable. I think I can add a, I can add at least, like, one more before I need to destroy this. Which I could probably run the actual base off of the, um, uh, reactor. But I don't know. I, I pr don't think I will yet. Um, in other words, I have the um, data collection rocket up here in space. He's going crazy. I think I can just pull him down after this one because I think all I need is like 104. So I'll just drag him down real quick. Um, oh, there he is. And I think that was all. So I guess I'll see you in another four cycles. All right, and we are back once again with cycle 435. And we're er, concurrently, currently we're sh constructing a steam room for the rocket exhaust. And there's it, it's going pretty well, uh, if I do say so myself. Also, the uh, infinite compression thing's going pretty well. I haven't checked the ra radiation overlay. It's actually doing pretty okay. Considering that this, uh, the, uh, neutronium, I, th I thought it, wait, I thought it blocked, it. yeah, it blocks everything. Radiation blocking 100%. So I'm not sure how we're able to irradiate it, but we are. Um, and it's definitely, definitely working. In other words, um, the steam room, the basic gist of it, I think I'm going to have a, so I'm going to have the aqua tuner f cooling a steam turbine, which will be sitting here in a liquid. Then over here, I will probably either have batteries or some complicated um, water filtration system because I have thought about that for a potential because we have a lot of um unclean water just floating around like we have a steam tur a steam steam vent we have a steam vent there but we have the 
uh, salt geyser there. We have two polluted water uh, vents. So I'm, we're going to need a way to purify that eventually without sand, unless we make sand infinitely. Which we kind of already do with the poke shells. But still. But I'm not sure. I might just leave it to like batteries on the bottom layer. Either way, this has been cycle 335, and I'll see you in another five cycles. Alright, and we are back once again with cycle 440, and we have more progress on the rocket system and different things. I've been mostly trying to sweep this out down here, um, so that way I can just have it clean, so that way I can seal it as soon as possible. I got the aqua tuner in, so that's pretty cool. I just need that little bit over there now. Um, I think as soon as I can put the liquid in, seal this up, I'll start working on the rockets. Um, like, eh, like I can just do that right now because they're all going to have spacefarer modules. They're just better than the alternative. But other than that, I'm not too sure. I know I need a nose cone, so I might as well put that on. Nose cone, nose cone. What is that one being made? I want, I want to keep my iron as much as I can. Um, definitely just rambling to myself right now. Um, anyways, uh, this should be, uh, sealed up next, uh, next checkup. Anyways, um, uh, this has been Cycle 440, and I'll see you in another five cycles. Alright, and we are back once again with Cycle 445. And remember when I said I was going to seal this up? That was a lie, because the rocket over here was completely full of carbon dioxide. So I um, quickly set up a little bootleg gas vent so I could fill this as quick as possible. Um, so I can send it back over to Plethion so I can grab some oil so I can come back so I can make the steam turbine over here. I might just take the steam turbine from down here because it works so hard on that steam that's below its temperature. Um, anyways, other than that, I think I really just need a steam turbine right there and then it's complete. Might not be able to do it this episode. And that's actually fine, because then I'll finish the Red Bull Rockets next episode. So, I guess it's time to pass you over for the next five cycles. Alright, and we are back once again on cycle uh, 450. And we basically did everything I said I was going to do. Turns out... Um, nuclear waste in the thermo aqua tuner isn't good, so I had to bring it all off, which is why there's a random piece of igneous rock down there. I'll probably eventually have to go down there for something, so I'm just gonna have to leave it there for now, because there's no way to grab it. Um, technically this is gonna be a two-parter, because in order to start this up, I need this to be, these two things to be able to be launched. And I couldn't do that in this episode. I didn't have enough time. So I guess I'll have to have that uh, done in the next episode. Which will be fun. I get to do this and then I get to uh, hopefully plot out some more things on the star map. Like I could go over here to see what's over there. I could go down there to see what's over there. I could even go come over here and colonize this. This is actually... This turned out to be pretty good. Now I have rockets ready. And I have um, this, which over time is going to be slowly more irradiated, and it will de it it will work. It'll definitely get up to high amounts of rads. Like look over here, one thousand seven hundred thirty-two rads. How much? How quickly does this one make rad bolts? It should say um, collecting rad bolts. 
173 per cycle. Yeah, that's a lot. And that's just gonna get more over time as that reactor down there runs. And looking at it now, it's literally opposite ends of the map. And that's actually pretty cool. I made it I made a supply line that goes from down here in the bottom corner of the map all the way to the top corner of the map. Anyways, if you uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I have a playlist in the top right corner as always, and then I also have that same playlist along with the seed in the description if that is easier for you to access. I hope you all have enjoyed and bye-bye.